You can use a splice in button to build a rough cut, for example, when stringing out a narrative scene line by line. So you'll load a source clip, set in and out marks if you haven't already, splice it in, and repeat. Notice as you add the clips, the position indicator jumps forward to the end of the sequence. And the next clip is added at that point. Now let's take a look at how to use splice in to insert a shot between two shots. Just like when building a scene in a linear fashion, you'll set in and out marks in the source clip to select the content you'll add to the sequence. And then you'll move the timelines position indicator to where you want to insert the shot. Next, you'll enable only the source tracks you want to include in the edit and the appropriate record side tracks. To maintain sync, you'll likely turn on all record track selectors. Once set up, you're ready to splice in the new clip. Notice this shot was added at the position indicator and the clips to the right of it move forward in the timeline to make room, making the sequence longer.